Hello everybody, I am Pat and welcome back to the Carlisle Clan Budgeting. And today we're gonna be doing week two for the month of June. Um, we're gonna talk about my virtual envelopes that we're setting up. We're going to talk about where I am with my budget so far this month, taking a look at some of the numbers, um, crossing some things off that have been paid for this month, and then setting up for week three and how that budgeting is going, plus looking over some of the envelopes in my new favorite um, A6 planner that I have with little plastic envelopes in there. So let's go ahead and get this party started. So first of all, we have to do that big, ugly, nasty job of opening up our bank accounts and looking. Now, as anybody that is following, you know that I have been um, using a combination of virtual envelopes and then our regular envelopes that we've kind of get set up here. Um, I use virtual because instead of taking the cash out, and then um, putting it back in so that it can be withdrawn. I just keep a certain amount in our bank account just so that their virtual envelopes are set up and the dollar amounts are set up so that I can eat, I can go ahead and make those uh, payments um, when they're due and on their due dates. How we have been setting it up is I set up my notebook um, with the due dates that these bills are due on the month. I write down what the bill is and the dollar amount that's going. And then off to the side, I have the four main ones that we are gonna be using that I set up in my envelopes. Plus we're gonna start expanding. Now that we've got a basic budget set up after the last couple of months of checking out what we owe, when we owe it, um, and then starting to make our debt snowball list that we've been kind of working on. So when I open up my bank account, I know that anything in yellow has been paid. So when my husband is looking over our budget, he can see we don't have to worry about those because they've already been paid. We can start working on the next three. And for us, that'll be week three um, in the month of June. Right now, we're just kind of finalizing week two. So these were definitely paid out of our bank account and we don't have to worry about them any longer. Um, and as we're going forward, taking a look and looking at what did we spend for week two between June 3rd and June 9th? Well, in total, I spent $101 for the different grocery stores and food. We put $50 in gas. We went out to Goomba's Italian restaurant here in town for $59.16. And my husband and I then went out for coffee and we spent $13.96 at Foxtail for coffee. So when we're looking at our week um, and getting our week set up, this is what week two is going to look like. Because again, my husband very much is hands-on. He needs to touch it, feel it, write it on there. And I definitely am the Google Doc queen. Excel is my favorite friend. I like to keep everything there because I'm not making scratch marks all over it and racing things and it just gets, uh, for me, it gets ugly here. I like to have it nice, neat and organized. So for our virtual envelopes for week two, I paid out $826. We budgeted $230 for our main envelopes that we've been using, but I only spent $224. And then as you remember for week one, our virtual envelopes were only $202 and our regular envelopes, we only spent $173.21 for week one. So since I get paid every other week, um, I divide my check into two and I try to budget $892 each week. So for this week, it's great. I look amazing because I have $515 left over for week one. But then when I go to week two and I set up my virtual account and I do that math, my check that we generally budget was $892. I had $515, so I add that in. That brought me up to $1407. My virtual envelopes were $823. My regular day, uh, weekly expenses were $224. So now for the rest of the month, I have $357.02 um, that I'm going to add in when I set up week three. 
okay? So that's basically how our June 2nd went. How did your second week of June go? I know for us, gas is still going up every day. It goes up. And so even though that I teach and I'm now um, not driving as much as I was during the school year, our gas budget is able to lessen slightly. Um, but we still are going to budget the same amount to start building that fund. Because remember, we roll everything over. Okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the envelopes and the purple envelopes that I'm doing. So as you can see, I've got one for our emergency fund that I set up. And with these trackers, trackers are so important because it helps you to keep an idea of what you're doing. So I'm not going to do a cash stuffing now. I'm going to keep that off to be a separate one because that can be a little bit long. So because of tracking, I know that I have $80 um, in this one. And so making sure that we're tracking every week is so very important. So the emergency food, our food, our gas, and then our my personal money. This is going to be car maintenance and um, oil changes and all that stuff. My husband and I are planning a cruise next March, so we're going to start putting money in that. Obviously, we're going to start budgeting for Christmas and then debt snowball. Now, I'm going to do a big debt snowball video coming up, so keep your eye out for that. Um, make sure that you hit subscribe and notification so you can see when all of the new videos are coming out. But we're, I'm going to have a whole separate one on our debt snowball, how we're attacking it, how we um, tracked what we owe so that we could set up a whole thing for debt snowball. So I just want to say thanks for coming with week two. Looking forward to getting week three set up and um, getting my virtual envelopes done and going from there. So thanks for coming, everybody, and have a terrific day. Bye-bye.